The Moore's Mill area is safer now thanks to some equipment the fire department acquired. They have new defib uh, defibrillators that kickstart rapid response for the heart. News 19's Deidre Briscoe talked to Moore's Mill and Fire and Rescue about those latest life-saving devices. Cardiac arrest is when your heart stops beating effectively. The Moore's Mill Fire Department just got new equipment to help with rapid response to getting people's heartbeat back on track. There's times that we'll have two and three times we need to use these AEDs in the same week. Um, whereas it used to be you wouldn't need to use these AEDs, but maybe once a week or once every other week, we are seeing more cardiac arrests that I don't think are really due to anything else other than just how rapidly our area is expanding. It was a $15,000 development block grant awarded during COVID that made it all possible for the department to get six new AEDs to go along with the department's existing six, equipping them with a total of 12. Firemen say this is crucial to staying ready as old devices can't be fixed. The old life packs that we have, these AEDs, actually are not able to be repaired anymore. So if they were to stop functioning, then we would have to buy these life pack 1000. So we already kind of knew going into last year, we were going to need to buy new AEDs just to prepare. The department says having the new defibrillators allows the fire department's medical vehicles to leave the scene and still ensure that there is an AED on scene with the fire trucks and even leaves room for an AED back at the station. Now people in the community say this is a good thing. It's better for the community, and it's, uh, it's something that they need, and uh, you never know when, they, when they'll come and you need a person to have a uh, stress or maybe be sick, and they may need uh, a mouth to mouth, but this, this machine could be more vital for them. The AED defibrillators have their own detection system built in, but many people still fear the use of them. If anyone is looking to learn how to properly use an AED defibrillator, the Moores Mill Fire Department says they'll teach you free of charge. Reporting in Madison County, Deidre Briscoe, News 19. Now the department says overall the call volume there has increased tremendously. The office says in 2022 the call volume ended at just less than 2,500 calls. That breaks down to more than seven calls per day.